The outlets at Orange, formerly the Block at Orange, and the City Shopping Center is an open-air outlet mall that opened in 1970. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. No trip to Southern California is complete without a day at the outlets at Orange, Orange County's only outlet shopping destination. This beautiful open-air center features more than 120 outlet and value retail stores, including Nordstrom Rack, Last Call by Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth, and many more. You'll save up to 70% off every day at stores such as Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, and Banana Republic Factory Store. Relax after a day of shopping at the Burke Williams Day Spa or dine at one of the 25 unique restaurants and outdoor cafes. The outlets at Orange also offer fun and entertainment for the entire family, with bowling, games, movies, and even an indoor skate park. And as a special offer just for visitors like you, you'll get a free coupon book worth hundreds of dollars in savings when you visit guest services located near Nike Factory Store. The outlets at Orange is conveniently located in the heart of Southern California, only minutes away from Disneyland and just a short taxi ride from your hotel. Orange County's only outlets are also a stop on the Anaheim Resort Transit Shuttle. The City Shopping Center opened in April of 1970. The open-air mall sat on 75 acres and would have around 106 original stores when they opened. At the time, the city had a modern and functional, if not glamorous, appeal. Its L-shaped design allowed for plenty of resting spaces near large windows overlooking courtyards or a fountain, and the banners hanging from the huge vaulted ceilings brightened the middle of the mall. The mall was located at the intersection of the Interstate 5 Santa Ana Freeway, the 22 Garden Grove Freeway, and the 57 Freeway, and it was known to locals as the Orange Crush. The city shopping center featured anchor stores J.C. Penney and San Diego-based Walker Scott. In 1974, Walker Scott would close and reopen as May Company. Among the other stores you might remember was Haroldson's Coffee World, Cartoon Junction, Randy's, Electric Carousel, Swiss Colony, Pepperoni Square, Clubhouse Pizza, China King, Dos Gringos, KB Toys, UA Theater, Plit Theater, Craft and Things, Piccadilly Square, Smugglers Inn, and there was even a Northrop F-5 fighter jet being on display inside the mall. In the early days of the mall, before the mall was enclosed, the mall was in separate buildings, kind of like a college campus. There was also a radio station there called 94 Kick FM, which was country. You could look in the window and see the disc jockey as well. The shopping center targeted middle-income residents, office workers, and visitors to nearby Disneyland. The city shopping center was a centerpiece of the city. An edge city mixed-use development, in or just outside the mall were two hotels, several office buildings, two movie theaters, city center theaters, and the UA the movies, a gym, three full-service restaurants, there was also a pizzeria called Pepperoni Square, which was sold and became a clubhouse pizza. There were also sports and games, and there was also a foreign currency exchange and a post office. By the 1990s, the mall was in decline. 
Stores were leaving for the nearby small Santa Ana Fashion Square Mall, which was renamed Main Place in Santa Ana. The May Company opened a new store at the Main Place in May of 1991 and closed the store at the city in July. By 1995, only a half dozen stores were still open in the city, which had seen its tenant list shrink dramatically from the original 106 stores. J.C. Penney, the center's last anchor store, closed in February of 1995. In 1996, the mall was closed and demolished. Mills purchased the site and built in a $150 million, 1.2 million square foot outdoor lifestyle center with outlets, restaurants, and entertainment facilities. Among the notable stores that I remember at the Block at Orange was Hilo Hattie, Ron John, Van Skate Park, the Virgin Megastore, Cafe Tutu Tango, and Dave and Buster's. The center's old slogan was the Block at Orange. It ain't square. It was the Mills Corporation's first outdoor mall, not to have the Mills name. The block officially opened in November of 1998. Ron John Surf Shop closed in 2008 and was replaced by Neiman Marcus, Virgin Megastore, Hilo Hattie, and Stephen Berry's closed in 2009. These anchors would be replaced with Off-Broadway Shoes, H&M, Thrill It Fun Center, and Guitar Center. Borders closed in 2011 due to the chain's liquidation and was replaced by Sports Authority. In 2011, the block at Orange was renamed the Outlets at Orange. The outlets at Orange underwent two phases of expansion on the east side of the mall. The first phase included a new Nordstrom rack store, which was completed in 2013. The second phase was completed in 2016, which included five new stores, such as the Gap Factory Store, Polo Ralph Lauren, and Orange County's first Bloomingdale's outlet. The second phase was supposed to bring in 12 new stores, but only five came because stores such as Bloomingdale's wanted larger spaces. Sports Authority was closed along with the rest of the company's stores in 2016 due to Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Much like its predecessor, the City Mall, as I used to call it, the outlet at Orange faces stiff competition for outlet centers such as the Citadel in Los Angeles and the outlets in San Clemente, as well as the local malls such as the Main Place in Santa Ana and South Coast Plaza. For me, I used to go to Dave & Buster's and Van Skate Park back when it used to be called the Block in Orange. Speaking of Van Skate Park, in March of 2020, a BMX rider died in an apparent freak accident there. The rider was performing a jump when he accidentally collided with a beam and cut his neck, causing him to bleed to death. The movie Borat was filmed at the Virgin Megastore when it was at the Block at Orange. The now infamous scene of Borat kidnapping Pamela Lee, or Pamela Anderson, or I don't know anymore, was shot in the store and in the parking lot. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was eight, give yourself a hand. 
you are paying attention. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.